Nathan Bedford Forrest, renowned as the Confederate Army's most feared general during the American Civil War, left an indelible mark on history with his strategic prowess and unwavering determination. From his early days as a slave trader to becoming a formidable military leader, Forrest's legacy continues to spark both admiration and controversy. In this video, we dive into the life and career of this legendary figure, uncovering the reasons behind his terrifying reputation and significant impact on the course of the American Civil War. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Nathan Bedford Forrest, a wealthy plantation owner. Nathan B. Forrest distinguished himself from serving in the Confederate Army during the Civil War. As a skilled cavalryman, he operated extensively in the Western theater, establishing a reputation as one of the most feared Confederate officers in the region. Renowned as a master of maneuver warfare, Forrest is remembered for his lightning raids and daring feats. Born into a humble Scottish-Irish family, on July 13, 1821 in Chapel Hill, Tennessee, Forrest was the eldest of 12 siblings. When his father died when he was just 17, the ambitious young man wholeheartedly pursued success, eventually lifting his family out of poverty by becoming a shrewd businessman, plantation owners, and even engaged in the slave trade in Mississippi. By the outbreak of the Civil War in 1861, Forrest had become one of the wealthiest men in the South. Joining the Union Army as a private, he quickly became a notable figure in the July 1861 Tennessee Mounted Rifles, attracting the attention of his superiors by using his own money to buy horses and equipment for the regiment. As a result, he was quickly promoted to colonel and given command of his own regiment in October 1861, thus forming Forrest Tennessee Cavalry Battalion. Despite having no formal military training or prior experience, Nathan Bedford Forrest quickly emerged as a remarkable officer, demonstrating his mettle at the Battle of Fort Donelson in Tennessee in February 1862. Refusing to surrender along with other Confederate forces, he deftly escaped the fort and made his way to safety. Then in April of the same year, Forrest commanded his troops and was wounded in the Battle of Shiloh in Tennessee. Notably, in July, he was promoted to Brigadier General. Sometime later, he took part in the Confederate assault on Heartland, commanding his battalion at the Battle of Murfreesboro in Tennessee. In December 1862, General Braxton Bragg, against Forrest's objections, transferred his experienced veterans to another officer. As a result, Forrest was forced to assemble a new brigade consisting of about 2,000 inexperienced recruits, many of whom lacked suitable weapons. Despite Forrest's objections about the dangerous nature of sending such untrained men behind the enemy's front lines, General Bragg insisted that they be deployed to western Tennessee to disrupt the lines of communication for Union forces under General Ulysses S. Grant, who posed a threat to Vicksburg, Mississippi. Forrest, reluctantly obeying Bragg's orders, carried out the mission, even though he believed it to be a dangerous one. In this raid, Nathan Bedford Forrest showed his exceptional talent, deftly leading thousands of Confederate soldiers in a pursuit across western Tennessee. Using his ingenious tactics, Forrest ensures that his fast-moving forces are always elusive, never lingering in a location long enough to be attacked. Forrest led his troops into raids as far north as the banks of the Ohio River in southwestern Kentucky. Notably, upon returning to his Mississippi base, Forrest recruited even more men and obtained a substantial arsenal of Union weapons. This development forced Union General Ulysses S. Grant to reevaluate and delay his strategic plans during the Vicksburg campaign. A friend of General Grant even commented that Forrest was the only Confederate cavalryman of whom Ant stood in much dread. Forrest continued to command his army in various small-scale campaigns until April 1863 when he was sent to remote areas of northern Alabama and west of Georgia to fend off attacks from Colonel Abel Strait and his 3,000-strong Union cavalry. 
Strait was tasked with cutting off the Southern Railroad in Chattanooga, Tennessee, thus disrupting General Braxton Bragg's supply lines and forcing him to retreat into Georgia. Although with a much smaller force, Forrest and his men relentlessly pursued Strait's forces for 16 days, harassing them all along the way. Finally, on May 3rd, Forrest intercepted Strait's unit east of Cedar Bluff, Alabama. Using a clever strategy, Forrest skillfully man maneuvered his small force to march around the hilltop to create the illusion of a larger and more powerful army. This ruse eventually convinced Strait, along with his wary and exhausted soldiers, to surrender to Forrest's orders, with a total of about 1,500 soldiers. Forrest showed his bravery at the Battle of Chickamauga in Georgia in September 1863, taking many Union prisoners. Along with other commanders serving under General Braxton Bragg, he advocated an immediate counterattack to recapture Chattanooga, which had recently fallen to Union forces. When Bragg failed to act, the two got into an argument, and Bragg handed him an independent order in Mississippi. On December 4, 1863, Forrest was promoted to Major General. He then led his army in a number of notable battles, such as Paducah in Kentucky, Bryce's Crossroads in Mississippi, where he won victory over outnumbered Union forces, as well as engagements in Spring Hill, Franklin, Fort Pillow, and Nashville in Tennessee. In February of 1865, Forrest's military achievements earned him promotion to Lieutenant General. Although Forrest is often hailed as a born military genius, his achievement was marred by the infamous Fort Pillow Massacre in Tennessee on April 12, 1864. Adhering to Confederate policy, Forrest ordered his troops to take no more black prisoners when they captured Fort Pillow. A Congressional Commission of Inquiry later confirmed the massacre of more than 300 black men, women, and children in the fort. In the spring of 1865, Forrest led an unsuccessful defense of the state of Alabama against Wilson's raid. His opponent, General James H. Wilson, defeated Forrest at the Battle of Selma on April 2, 1865. A week later, General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Grant in Virginia. Upon receiving news of Lee's surrender, Forrest also surrendered. During the war, he gained great respect as a cavalryman and partisan ranger, gaining a reputation as one of the most innovative and successful generals. Even today, modern soldiers still study his tactics of mobile warfare. After the war, Forrest settled in Memphis, Tennessee. However, the abolition of slavery had serious financial consequences for him. In search of stability, he found work at the Marion and Memphis Railroad, where his entrepreneurial abilities soon propelled him forward. In October 1877, he died of complications from diabetes and was buried at Elmwood Cemetery in Memphis. In 1904, his remains and his wife Mary were moved to Memphis City Park, which was originally named Forest Park in his honor, but was later renamed Health Science Park. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.